Greetings my acolytes, and welcome back to a rather peculiar video for our channel. I have been expecting you. I see your tenacity and desire for more fan fictions has emerged. Very well my acolytes, today we are going to be embarking on a rather new series in terms of this channel. Over the past few weeks, I have uncovered various certain fan fictions and alternate timelines. Ones such as Vitiate vs Sidious, with both Sidious and Vitiate winning, with What If Yoda Turned to the Dark Side, and a multitude of others. I have been recently exploring this AI known as ChatGPT, which allows us to generate hypothetical fights and duels between various Star Wars characters. But today, we are doing something different. We are going to be exploring what would happen to the Star Wars galaxy if Darth Nihilus returned. You might think that this is just an ordinary video, but no, this is very, very, very different. This is going to be episode one of a multi-decade long episode, which will ultimately see dozens, if not hundreds of episodes produced. This will ultimately culminate in a final multiversal clash in Star Wars. Each episode will be unique and will premiere roughly once a week. Roughly once a week on Wednesday, although mostly it will just be once a week and with no speculated and certain tied date. However, my friends, prepare as we delve into episode 1, The Lord of Hunger, and see what would happen in this alternate scenario where Darth Nihilus wins against both Mitra Surik and Visas Ma in the Knights of the Old Republic 2 game. Well, just before we begin, I put hours and hours of my time into constructing every single law video, and now I'm spending even more time constructing these fan fictions, importing all the information I need the AI to digest, in order for me to generate a plausible sequence of events that will ultimately lead up to the most climactic and thrilling ending to any Star Wars saga that you have ever seen generated by a fan. If you would just take a second to click the subscribe button, share this with your fellow students, it would mean the world to me and warm my ice cold Sith heart. Well my friends, let us proceed as we delve into the story of what if Darth Nihilus won. Darth Nihilus, Mitra Surik and Visas Ma are all powerful characters from the Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 game. In order for Darth Nihilus to win against them, several factors would need to come into play. First, Darth Nihilus would need to have a high level of skill and mastery in use of the Force. He would also need to have access to powerful abilities such as Force Drain and Force Awake, which allows him to drain the energy of his opponents and blast them with powerful waves of Force Energy. Next, Mitra Surik and Vizas Ma would need to be relatively inexperienced or unprepared for the fight. They would need to be caught off guard and not have a chance to properly defend themselves. Finally, the environment of the battle would also play a role. If the battle were to take place in an area that would provide cover and concealment for Niles, such as a dense forest or maze-like structure, this would grant him an advantage. Lord of these factors is play, it is highly possible for Niles to win against Mitra Surik and Vsas Mara in battle. However, it is worth noting blah 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 blah. Darth Niles stood in front of Mitra Surik and Vsas Mara, his crimson lightsaber ignited. You stand before me, but you are already defeated, he sneered. Mitra Surik, also known as the Jedi Exar, raised her lightsaber. We will see about that, she said confidently. Visas Ma, a former Sith apprentice turned Jedi, activated her lightsaber as well. We will not be so easily defeated, she said. Darth Nihilus cackled. Foolish Jedi, you do not understand the true power of the dark side. I am the Lord of Anger. And I will consume your souls. He raised a hand and unleashed a powerful force drain ability, sapping the energy from most beach Surik and Visas Ma. They stumbled, their lightsabers dimming. You see, you are powerless against me. But Mitra Surik was not so easily defeated. She gathered her strength and unleashed a powerful force wave, blasting Darth Knights back. We may be weakened, but we are not defeated, she said. Visas Ma also regained her footing and joined Mitra Surik in the fight. Together, they battled Darth Nihilus, their lightsabers clashing against his. But the Lord of Hunger was just too powerful. He used the Force to summon objects from the surrounding area, use them as projectiles to distract and harm the Jedi. He also had the power to drain the life from the very beings, and life force his opponents, making them weaker. Despite their best efforts, Mitra Surik and Visas Ma were eventually overcome by Darth Nihilus' power. He stood victorious, his lightsaber pointed at the defeated Jedi. You see, Jedi, I am the true master of the Force, he said before striking them down. 
the battle was over, and Darth Niles emerged as the victor. The Jedi were defeated and their fate was unknown, but one thing was clear, the Lord of Hunger proved to be a formidable enemy, and his power and skills were not to be underestimated. What if Revan went to confront him afterwards though, would he be able to stop Niles, or would he be defeated? Revan, the powerful Jedi Knight turned Sith Lord, turned reconstituted Jedi, stood before Darth Nihilus, his twin lightsabers ignited. You will pay for what you have done, he said, his voice filled with an anger and termination. Darth Nihilus sneered. Revan, the great Jedi Knight, you think you can defeat me? You are even more foolish than the Jedi who came before you. I am not a Jedi, Nihilus, nor am I a Sith. I am one the, the one in the middle. Revan said, his lightsaber glowing with power. Darth Nihilus chuckled. It doesn't matter what you call yourself. You are still weak. You are still vulnerable to the power of the dark side. The two clashed in a fierce lightsaber duel, their blades meeting in a shower of sparks. Revan's skill was a lightsaber run match, but Nihilus had the power of the dark side on his side. He was able to use the force to summon objects from the surrounding area, using them as projectiles to distract and harm Revan. He also had the power to drain the life force of his opponents, making them weaker. Despite the odds Revan fought on, he was determined to stop Nars and avenge the death of Beatrice Surik and Visas Ma. He unleashed a powerful force push, sending Nars flying back. You are strong, Revan, but not strong enough, Nars said, getting back on his feet. I will not be defeated, Revan said, his lightsaber glowing with a fierce purple light. He unleashed a powerful force ability, calling upon the power of the light side of the force to heal himself and replenish his strengths. He also used the force to create a barrier around himself, protecting him from Nihilus' force drain. With renewed strength, Revan continued the fight. He was able to hold his own against Nihilus, and the duel became increasingly intense. You are strong, Revan, but you cannot defeat me. Nihilus said, his voice filled with confidence. We'll see about that, Revan said, pushing back Niles with a powerful force push. In a final act of desperation, Niles unleashed all the power he had left, using the force to suck the life force out of everything around him. But Revan was able to use the force shield to shield himself from the attack, and with the final strike, he was able to defeat Darth Nihilus, destroying him and bringing an end to his reign of terror. It is over. Revan said victorious. The battle had been won, but at a great cost. Revan knew they had to live with the consequences of his actions. He also knew it was necessary to stop Nars and bring peace back to the galaxy. He took a moment to honour the memory of Mitra Surik and Visas Ma, and then he left, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. But what if Revan had lost? What if Nars had prevailed over the prodigal knight? Revan, the powerful Jedi Knight, stood before Darth Nihilus, his lightsaber ignited. You will pay for what you have done, he said, his voice filled with anger and determination. Darth Nihilus sneered. Revan, the great Jedi Knight, you think you can defeat me? You are even more foolish than the Jedi who preceded you. I am a Jedi, Nihilus, and I will not rest until you are stopped, Revan said, his lightsaber glowing with power. The two clashed in a fierce lightsaber duel. Darth Sion, the Lord of Pain, appeared on the scene. Revan, you are a fool to think you can defeat Nihilus alone. Together we can conquer him, he said, activating his lightsaber. Revan, surprised by Sion's appearance, quickly dispatched him with a Sith strike, leaving him lying on the ground. He knew the treachery of the Sith. You are no match for me, Sion. I'll deal with you finally later, he said, turning his attention back to Nihilus. Darth Nihilus was shocked by Swevan's dis swift defeat of Sion and began to sense unease. You are strong, Erevan, but you are not strong enough, Nihilus said, his voice filled with doubt. I will not be defeated, Revan said, his lights are glowing with a fierce blue light. As the battle continued, the, it became increasingly more intense. Both were determined to win, but Nihilus had the upper hand. He was an entity now, a virgin of the very dark side itself. He was able to use his unprecedented and unrivaled mastery of the Force Drain ability to weaken Revan. He also was able to use the Force to summon objects from the surrounding area, using them as projectiles to distract and harm the Prodigal Knight. As Revan's strength began to wane, Nihilus saw his opportunity and unleashed a plethora of all the power he had left, using the Force to suck the life force of everything around him, including Revan, his corpse dropping to the floor as the last flicker of life left his eyes. Darth Nihilus stood victorious, his lightsaber pointed the defeated Revan. You see, Revan, I am the true master of the Force, 
he said, before plunging his lightsaber into his gut to ensure Revan's defeat. As Revan lay dead on the ground, Darth Sion, who had been rendered unconscious on the ground, got back on his feet. He saw Revan's body and knew he had to take advantage of the situation. The Jedi is defeated. I must use this to my advantage. I must undermine Nihilus, he said as he activated his lightsaber and charged towards Nihilus. But before he got to him, he realized something. On the brink of death, he realized that Revan was not yet finished. He saw him summon all his reigning strength, and with one final burst of power, he was able to obliterate Sion and end the threat once and for all. But as we know, the Lord of Hunger would not fall that easily. Well, my friend, what did you think of this fan fiction revolving about what if Nihilus won and ended up fighting against the prodigal knight in Darth Revan? I said before, each of these videos will be around 10 to 15 minutes long, with the shortest ones being around 8 minutes long. This will cover a fan fiction of my own design, with it being entirely written and composed by an AI. Tell me, do you like this scenario? Just to let you know, this will not just be including Sith Lords and beings from the Old Republic. I plan to incorporate beings like Vitiate, the Father of Shadows, Abeloth, Luke Skywalker, Yoda, Palpatine, Commander Cody, and a plethora of other entities and a myriad of other Force deities in the Star Wars galaxy as the tension between my series begins to rise. Just one quick note is all of this belongs to Star Wars and is, this is just a deep-rooted Star Wars fan having his own fun with the characters that others have helped created. And I have no rights to any of the characters whatsoever. And this is just pu purely my speculation and my idea of what would happen if these events were to concur within the Star Wars galaxy. Farewell, my acolytes. Prepare for episode 2 as it premieres later this week. And I'll see you in a galaxy far, far away.